respected Arjun Ram Meghwal ji. Mr. Chetan Sharma, learning Federation Solicitor General, Mr. Mohit Mathur, President of the Bar Association, Mr. Gupta, President of the <coughs> Lawyer's Voice, and Mr. Neeraj, whom I know for a very long time because he was the Secretary of the Patiala House Bar Association at one time, and uh, Mr. Vikrant Yadav, Honorable Secretary, Supreme Court Bar Association. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I was telling the Honorable Minister that I have rarely seen such a packed house as I have seen today. And I told him the audience has come only to hear you. Yes, in fact, uh, let me begin with two explanations. I came in a bit late because there was a farewell function for two of our judges who had been transferred. So, we had to ensure that they were given a proper farewell and uh, one of them had a flight to catch. So, I had to... Yes, that the learned ASD has ensured that. <laughs> is the other thing I would like to tell you is that I had stored all my old acts and I had not allowed them to be disposed of though I had been a judge for about 16 years because I said I will need it after some time. But you know, the, we have, for the last 10 years, we have had such an overactive parliament that nearly all the old acts have become worthless. <laughs> because the Companies Act, that has gone. There is a 1913 Act. There is a 2013 Act. Then look at the Income Tax Act. It has drastically, drastically changed. Faceless assessments has come in, which was not there previously. GST is entirely new, which was not there about 15 years ago. And now the criminal acts, which has drastically changed. And look at the change and its positive effect that has happened in the last 10 years. Just look at the GST collections. How phenomenally high they have gone. See, the, pro the problem today is there is poverty of ideas. That is what we have been talking about yesterday also when we had a function in the High Court. I said what is lacking today is poverty of ideas. If you find the right people in the slot, you will find great ideas and just look by one statute, the, the revenue of the state has gone up many fold. It could not have happened previously because, because somehow the parliament was not very active. But in the last 10 years, the way the parliament has enacted laws and such drastic laws that everything has changed. You have also heard with regard to the penal codes which are now coming into force, the two versions, one by Mr. Mahesh Jetmani, the other view has been presented by Mr. Mohit Mathur and the ASG has given the balanced view. So really, we, I have nothing to say <laughs> and as a judge, I would not like to talk about the new laws because you don't know when the validity comes before you or the legality comes before you. But one thing I would like to share is my experience as a judge sitting on the criminal side and really I felt that the whole scenario needed an overall and I will illustrate that by giving you a simple example. <coughs> I was sitting on the criminal side and I was hearing a murder matter where the allegation was that the husband had murdered his wife. It's a disposed of matter so I can talk about it. The allegation was that the husband used to beat his wife every evening and since he used to live in a congested locality, the entire locality used to get together virtually in the evening and used to try to explain to the husband or try to make him understand that he should not do this. This girl is a nice girl, she should be allowed to stay over there. The marriage was not very old, it's just about a year old. But the husband would just not listen and would beat his wife mercilessly. And every day there would be quarrel between the husband, the wife and the, the entire neighborhood would come and try to resolve the issue. One day, he banged her head so violently against the wall 
that she cried for a long time and the entire, as they say, the mohalla gathered together. And unfortunately, the lady died on the spot after about 10 minutes. And this happened in the presence of the entire community. The community was so agitated that they wanted to burn the accused there and then. The police arrived and the police sent wireless logs saying, please send reinforcements. The people believe that this husband has murdered his wife and they want to burn the husband alive. Imagine the <coughs> entire mob is there and the police wireless logs are saying that please send reinforcement immediately otherwise we will also be burned over here. So we are trying to uh, protect the husband because we want him to go through the process of law. But the crowd is so agitated over here that not only will he get burned, will we get burned. All these wireless logs are there for about 10-15 minutes. The reinforcement comes and the situation is saved. The husband is arrested. Case is filed. Case goes through the novel process of trial. And the police while filing the charge sheet includes the two RWA chairman and the secretary who had led that mob which wanted to lynch the husband which wanted to burn that house, which wanted to burn the police force as their witness of the incident to show that they virtually had witnessed that, that horrific beating of the wife. <coughs> and lo and behold, what happened? They turned hostile. In majority of the cases which you hear on the criminal side, especially murder matters, you find people turn hostile. It's not 50%, 60%, it is 99%. It is very rare that a witness supports the case of the prosecution. According to me, why does that happen? It happened because people feel alienated from the law that was being administered. People, the public doesn't feel that law will get them justice. People feel it's a process of harassment. I hope these new laws will change the entire scenario. What was required was digital evidence. What was required was more empathy to be shown towards the victims. It is not just that you recognize the rights of the accused. The victim also has a right in the process. It is not just good enough that the state prosecutes on behalf of the victim. The victim also needs to be involved in this. So, in that case, what, what was the main problem in that matter was not only the witnesses had turned hostile, the documentation which had been done on the crime scene was all very difficult to comprehend. There were contradictions in that. And we, while writing the judgment, wrote the first and foremost reform that needs to be done is the crime scene needs to be videographed immediately. The first responders, when they go there, they must have cameras with them. They must record the scene of crime. And that scene of crime must be recorded in such a manner that it cannot be tampered with. And the trial court has confidence in the recording that has been done. I am glad the audio video recording has now been made a part of the system. The forensic examination, the forensic, I think the, the branch needed to be made more active. I am glad it has been done. See, these are the steps which needed to be taken immediately so that people have the confidence that they will get justice at the end of the day. And overall was required. I am glad that people have people in power have found time to understand the underlying desire of the common man to see a new system. I agree. It may not be foolproof in the first instance. It may need amendments. But at least someone has thought about it. And someone is working on the both lines. That, I think, is a big improvement and a big issue. The other is, as was pointed out by the ASG and Mr. Mahesh Rajivani, that certain timelines have been laid down for certain issues. I think that also was required. Because matters tend to drag on and by the time the evidence gets recorded, our memory fails. And contradictions come in the deposition, which is very difficult to reconcile. Especially with the good uh, bunch of lawyers that we have, 
who are appearing on the defense side. <laughs> so it's very challenging, but I'm glad that the parliament has found time to work on this, to bring about amendments. And I, I hope this exercise doesn't stop with just these acts. People gain from their experience and continue with this process. Thank you very much. Honorable Chief Justice, Mr.